did something significant that you were proud of, your public relations person, coordinator, manager, director, put out a release, and you hope that the media that watched your specific segment picked up on it. And then if you got it, you circulated it around the company and it was a home run. Everybody was proud, it ended up in the employee cafeteria, it ended up in the newsletters, and everybody was very proud. Let me show you how quickly that's changed. Last year, when I was at Lowe's, my team came to me early one morning and said, we have figured out a way to have our customers make reservations through Twitter. I said, really? They said, yeah. I said, do me a favor. And this was early in the morning. I said, do me a favor. I want you to take the rest of the day, come back to me at the end of the day, and tell me why I wouldn't do it. We're a public company. I want to make sure we're protected. Go see the attorneys. Go see our legal department. Go see risk management. Go talk to operations. Why would I say no to that idea? But come back to the end of the day. So they came back to me at the end of the day, and they said, there's no reason not to do it. I said, great, let's go. Eight days later, we were on the Today Show being highlighted as the first hotel company to do it. Now, you talk about public relations. That wouldn't have occurred 10 years ago. That wouldn't have occurred five years ago. That's how fast things are moving today. So if there's a student signing up for public relations here at Belmont, <clears throat> it's a very different world than the people that were studying public relations five, 10 years ago. I'm going to walk you through a lot of change.